Okay, here we go. Um, that is my clone version of the uh, Duet Wi-Fi car. And this is the real version. I literally pulled this one out. Connector for connector and put that one in. I added those heat sinks to everything myself, so that's why they're on there. Um, but I put the connector straight from this board to that board. I flashed the firmware with the same firmware I had on this board and just installed my SD chip or card in from this one. And it everything came up and ran just like it would if the other card was in there. I everything honed all the movement, motion. I mean, it seems to all be working just fine. Um, I believe the grand total of this was like $69 cheaper than that one. So, I mean, if you're on a budget <clears throat> and you can afford about 100 but you really can't go to the $170, there you go. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's more than 30% off, probably somewhere around 40-ish. But you know, it does not come with the SD card. You have to have one. So, and of course, the software is available on GitHub. <clears throat> but it was completely configured using my BL Touch and everything just like it was with the other one. I swapped them out, flashed the firmware, put my SD card in, it was up and running. So, anybody that was wanting to know what's going on or wanting to see one for real, I mean, that's what it looks like. There's the original. And like I said, I put those heat sinks on there. I'll probably put them on that one too, just in case. I have a fan down here that, you know, when it gets above 32C, it does come on to cool the board, but it never hurts. So, all right, well, there you go. There's a basic review, uh, a first look. Have a good one.